All right, what are we doing? Scrap this. Make it taller. So we kind of have a design put together. Um, I can show you on the computer. We're going to cut out a test square for the bottom. So we have that guy, which is the bottom square. And then we also have that. So we're going there. So this box, there is 103 three centimeter big hexagons. A design like this is pretty much only possible with the laser. So this compartment is going to be where the subwoofer lives. That guy. This is going to be where the amp is. So there's going to be one here. And then there's gonna be one here. The battery, which is that battery, is gonna slide in underneath here. 1500 watt inverter, we're gonna fit here. So you have front facing access to all the electrical. These will be uh, USB, USB, cigarette, cigarette, and then voltage, and then Jeep, you know, cause it's, you know, going in a Jeep. What we're gonna do to mount the top is we're gonna have these clamps, class, that's gonna mount on the inside here. One, two, three. And on the back, it's going to be on the outside. I think we'll be able to fit it here. And then we're going to do a, what, three quarter inch plywood for the top. And everything, if you look all these different holes. So this is for different power that comes through. And then these horizontal, and then these two vertical in the front, and same on that side, are for like tie down hooks that are built into the Jeep. So essentially, they, they we needed to put some space for them. We had to cut it out. But right now, what we just did is cut these two holes on this side, and that lines up with two holes that is on the side of the Jeep. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a bunch of holes. I think this is the bunch that's on the bottom that we're gonna try and measure out, drill the holes, and make sure it fits perfect. Jeep box as we built it. So what are we gonna use to paint it? What are we using the, the coating for? Black Raptor liner. It's gonna make it like a truck bed. So the plan is we're gonna take off the uh, the box and then we're gonna just essentially mask off the, the part here. For this stuff here that we took out on the uh, laser machine, so what we did is we kind of just depth engraved it. You can kind of see, I can my finger now, where it goes to. We kind of made it so then this is the outline of the top of the box. When you flip it over and put it on, we'll have some a layer of foam here that will uh, make it secure, right? Keep it from rattling. So, but then we'll have to make sure that we coat this stuff, give it a layer of masking tape so we don't put any rhino liner on that. And then on the top side, we're just gonna coat the whole thing. So what are you putting in? Partner. What does this do? It activates the liner and starts the clock. We have 45 minutes before this jar turns into a brick. 
our cops. And then two minutes of shaking. Two minutes of shaking. Look, look what I did. Mark messed up. Look what I did. Alright, so here we are on maybe not the final day, but now we have everything right aligned. Um, well, most of it, the, the parts that people will see. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take it and put it in the Jeep. Okay, so the next step is, or I guess the last step is, is we get everything in. So now we're gonna start doing the electrical, we're gonna start doing all of that. But essentially, the major construction of the box is complete. Uh, we still have a little more surprises that we'll do in the next video, but we'll do a little bit of a time lapse here and go through the rest of the steps that are involved with getting this box to a point that it's self-sustaining, it, it, it can have everything it needs, and it has that flush top. So, like we said, it supports the subwoofer, the amps, the battery, and a drawer. So, a full extension drawer. A bunch of other small like, USB things and all that. All of them. Can't forget our bolts. Not forget the bolts. So, as we showed in the previous parts of the video, um, we cut out these spacers here for all of the different parts and the holes that line up with some of the mounting holes in the bottom of the Jeep. And then also like in the video, we have these two on the right hand side that we have a spacer that we'll put in here, it's in the garage. And it essentially makes it so then the drawer kind of just next to, or in between the, where the drawer like slide sits, which is kind of like roughly right here. Um, it makes sure that it keeps it rigid this way. Um, so then when you pull the drawer out, it's not gonna flop left or right or anything like that. And then with the top on, it kind of boxes everything in. When we were designing this, Kai was like, we should, uh, should put a bar across the top of it. And I was like, nah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bad sound. He was right. <laughs> The box is secured, finally. It's in. Oh. How many points of contact? Except for this last one that I forgot to tighten. We have three points of contact on the bottom and then these two guys right here. So... What a good black. Move in anywhere. Ever. Ever. Sweet. Alright, let's get the box in. Note to future self. Take off the masking tape before the liner cures? Probably no. good. Yeah. The world's strongest masking tape. Oh, one more piece. Yes, there we go. And there we go. Ooh, how tight is it? Oh, pretty good. Oh, damn it. Well, we do have a couple neighbors. Here. But now we'll also get a coat of liner. Line the handle up. There it is. Looking good. We have this yellow top battery, it's about 80 amp hours. Should get the work done. And over here, I mean, everything that Cal's doing, we got the two amps.